Hi there, Robin here today, and we are going to be talking about this, the Marine Radio from Pile. It's special one. It's the PLMR B29W. It also comes as a 38B, which is the black version of the same radio. This radio here features subwoofer output. So on the back side of it, we're going to find RCAs for our main left and right. And then we're also going to find two subwoofers, subwoofer channel one and two on the back of the unit. So if the intention is to run some extra speakers and some subs using an amplifier, this is a good way to go. Uh, it allows you to have control from the actual radio to the subwoofer so you can increase and decrease the bass as you want because it's always the case some people want it more some people want it less it's nice to be able to have control options to it so what we're going to do is quickly run through the features but we are going to power it up first so now that we've added power we can just turn the unit on by pressing the source button we've got options like auxiliary in which is right in the front you've got bluetooth pairing options to it back to the radio if we had a micro sd card or a USB stick in there, it would have even have gone to an MP3 player option. It also has the ability not just to pair off for music play, but it also has a built-in speakerphone with the microphone located on front. You can mute it simply by pressing the actual button just below the actual speaker. You also get control over your X boost by holding the button at the bottom. If we hold it down, it'll engage the actual bass boost to it. And then you get your standard play, pause, all the straight up functions, the next track, the previous track. You get extra features we're going to see. You can control the color on it. So we'll go into the actual menu options now. So first you get the option for EQ options. So if we pause on any one, we'll bring it right back. So the first one we get are EQ options. We can control our subwoofer level. So how much actual bass we're going to have going to our crossover point, which is 32. So we'll press that again. One more time, we can turn on and off straight from the menu, our actual bass boost. Then we have our balance control. Then we have our fading options, front to rear. Do we have a subwoofer off and on? You can choose to have the demo, which basically turns on the actual settings. Then we get into the EQ presets. You get the actual user option. Then you can go to a flat setting, a classical, a rock, pop, jazz. I mean, it does all of them. Uh, it's a little trigger happy here. So, you know, it is what it is. When you turn it, you get to where you want. And then you hit the OK button. Loudness option on and off, which isn't the same as the actual bass boost on it, because that's just a frequency crossover and how much it's going to actually add. Uh, you can have the choice to have the beep off, which a lot of people do like to turn off. And then you have a choice for your clock settings. And then you get to choose, set up your actual clock. Bluetooth options can be automatic or manual. So a lot of people do like to set that to manual because they don't always want to have it set up on their own. Uh, you have distant, local, stereo, mono, and area, US, or anywhere else for your radio setup. Then you get here, which is the actual display setting for your actual radio. So you can choose the color you want it to be just by simply turning the dial, which is kind of cool. You get all the options or you leave it on RGB automatic. And there you go. That's a quick run through of all the actual functions on the actual display. Again, it uses a standard basket, a single dim, so you don't have to worry about, you know, is it going to fit on the boat? If you have a standard radio from any of the manufacturers, this will go into that same slot. Uh, if you're using a splash guard, it's always good to replace splash guards because that might have been the reason why the old one stopped working. Moisture got in there. So remember, it is water resistant, not splash proof. So that's very important. Just a quick review on the actual wiring of the unit comes with two harnesses on the back side of it. One of them is just for the speakers. You get your primaries, which is your purple, your gray, your white, and green in pairs. These are gonna be all your positive and negatives for your speaker, allowing you four speakers, each speaker getting a peak power of 75 watts. Nice part is, is if you're doing a re and re, so removal of an old radio and an install of this radio, just you can follow the color codes if the actual existing radio in the boat you know was wired properly. And for the color leads, everything's pretty much standard for the last 40 years, so you are going to see a constant power, which is the yellow cable. It's always the heavier cable. Then you're going to see the negative, which these are the wires that you're going to want to hook up first. Always try and hook up the negative, the ground first. Then you're going to have the red wire, which is your accessory wire. This allows the actual unit to be turned on and off with a key on the boat or ATV. Uh, if it doesn't have it, you can put that on a switch if you want, connect it to the yellow, or if you connect it directly to the yellow, whenever the actual unit's turned on, it's on. When it's off, it's off. But there's going to be no memory presets if power gets killed every time you turn off the actual ATV or boat. 
The blue wire is for amplifiers. This is what remotely turns on the amplifier. So when the head unit, the radio here, goes on, it's then going to tell the amplifier to turn on. Even though the amplifier has constant power, this is the trigger that's going to turn it on and off. The radio also comes in two colors, of course. It comes in the white and it comes in the black. And that pretty much covers all the features on this radio. Uh, in the manual, it does make reference to the power. Now, of course, it does say 300 watts peak. That's 4 times 75. In the manual, you get... So the actual benchmark ratings on it is actually 4 times 25. So, and that's pretty normal. I mean, they are normally around that range. 4 times 25. Spend 3, 4 times the price. You might get 4 times 45. Uh, somewhere in that range. So outside of that, it works out really, really well. Nothing much to worry about on the radio. It's a pretty straightforward setup. Nice part is, like I said before, if you have a subwoofer and you want to have some control over that subwoofer without always having to go to the amp, this is a pretty good way to go. It also has, and I didn't mention it, an app that you can download for it. A lot of radios are starting to come with apps for them. I'm not a big fan of the app because, well, to be honest, I'm usually just using streaming music services, and that's pretty straightforward for, for me to set up. Uh, I prefer to do it that way. I don't want to turn an app on to turn another app on just to use my radio. So, yes, you can download it, and some people do enjoy using it. Some people just find it another layer of getting everything to work. Again, it's not something I use. Doesn't mean you don't have to or you don't even, you can try, download it, see if you like it or not. If you like it, keep it. If you don't, don't worry about it. It doesn't need to, the app to run. So after using the unit for a while, we haven't had that much problems last year going into this year. Uh, again, the biggest thing, it works really well. It does everything we really want it to do. Uh, I, I do find the actual unit to be a little touchy when it comes to the digital settings on it. It could just be this particular one. But I did notice it before on another model that we had last year of this unit. So, I mean, outside of that, it works really, really well. Once you get it adjusted and you get it the way you want, not going to be very upset with it. And again, I'm buying it because of the actual subwoofer outputs on the back of it, which is really nice. So not just main out, but subwoofer out. Well, I hope this video helped you in your buying decision today. Maybe we'll see you in the next video. Like I say, thanks for watching. Bye for now.